Hey, what up, though? This is Dwayne from Illinois Distribution and Help With Your Crib. Help With a Car. Jared Management, LLC.com. Give us a call at area code 937-250-9506 or 313-728-4404. You can check us out at Help With Your Crib. Help With a Car. Jared Management, LLC.com. All right, guys. Check it out. First off, y'all already know. Wear your fucking mask. Please, please, please with sugar top. And I really appreciate you guys, you know, listening to my last video and taking my advice and wearing your mask. Okay, so I really appreciate it. Also, uh, I just want to respond to the comment of John 336. Yes, I have a mask, smart ass, but I'm not going to put it on video because no one's around. I have no audience. You guys are my audience. So, let's keep it moving. I'm not going to continue with this. Just wear your mask, please. And continue to keep masks on your kids. Now, Shout out to one of our new clients on the team, uh, Lana. We're going to run the Lana deal. All right. She just purchased a, uh, she was wondering which way she wanted to go with this place. You know, it's it's going to be a, it's going to be a uh, four to five unit, but let's break down the specs and let's break down what, what this property is actually going for. First off, she pays 70000 all right, you know, first thing when to ask me, damn, you know, did I do a good deal? Am I going to make some money on this thing? You know, I'm going to do this real quick and real simple for y'all. And we're going to milk this thing. I'm going to show you how to milk this thing. Let's let's start. Let's get these numbers and let's get and let's get with these specs. All right. The first you got, <clears throat> you got two bedroom, another two bedroom, one, a studio. So these are rooms. Okay, so you got two, two, you got two, a two bedroom, two bedroom, a one bedroom, and then you got the studio. Now, the basement. I mean, this used to be a pretty, pretty huge house. Uh, I'm gonna say they they made it into separate units, so this house was pretty big. So, but each unit has uh, a bathroom, a kitchen, you know, and whatnot. Then you got your studio. Now, the basement as well has. Uh, pretty much somewhat like a living quarters. I mean, this house was kind of bougie back in this day. So I'm thinking that would probably have been like the uh, the butler quarters or, you know, the maintenance quarters because it's like a little bedroom. And then there's, uh, I'll just break it down for you here real quick on what this, this basement possible room looks like. So got the basement here. Okay, you got the basement, you know, you got your uh you got your wash area. And you got the wash area, then you got then you got a uh you got a room here. It's kind of similar like like a living room kind of kind of deal. And then you got then it's the kitchen, there's like a kitchen sink right here. You got the bathroom, it's got its own little bathroom, it's pretty cute. It actually had like a little shower. And it had a, it had a full bath, you know, pretty much bath with a not. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much how it was laid out. And of course, you know, on the other side, you got your fur, you got your furnace, and you got your furnace and your water tank. So this could pretty, it's not real big, but like I said, it looks like it could have been, you know, a living quarters at one time. So you know, we're gonna come back to that. And this is I'm gonna actually factor this into the numbers because you know we're trying to. Uh, we try to milk this thing. And, you know, Lana, this is how I would do it. You ask, well, how would you do this? This is how I milk this boy. Okay, so the basement. That basement room, okay, I would rent that pretty low. Because, I mean, one thing I do want to fill you in on about this property, uh, all the meters, it's only one meter. What I mean by meters, the gas meter, the water meter, all that lights, everything's all on its own meter. So these units are not separated. They're all, they're all on one meter. You know what I mean? So the gas, lights, and water. All this is all can all this is on in, in this house because. Again, it used to be one house, but again, somebody played as smart as an investor and they broke this boy down. But the only thing that they didn't they didn't factor in was that basement, which my client is going to factor in this basement because 
it used to be 11 quarters. And we're going to remake it 11 quarters. So, I'm like, okay, D, come on, get to the numbers, man. I want to make some money. I get it. And this, this place here, you're going to make that money, okay? Rental scales, you're like, okay, where are we at with the rental scales? Where are we at with the neighborhood? The neighborhood's not bad, you know, back in this day. But it's, and, and today, where it's at, scale of 1 to 10 on my 10 to burst, one of the worst deal, it's about a six. You know, but, you know, a few blocks down, they're doing some developing. So, you know, again, it's a six right now, but, you know, eventually this property in that area, I can see, you know, going up to about an eight. You know, which, you know, these days people are staying in a six, you know. So, this is where we scale the rent. Seeing that this property is all on, all on the same meter, we're going to do, for the two bedrooms, we're going to do 850. We're going to do 850. And then on the one bedrooms, we're going to do 750. I mean, you got to make things fair. But, you know, the way utilities is and expenses and whatnot, you know, this, this is, this is going to be, you know, economical for, you know, fixed income, things of that nature, you know, one or two people. This ain't no, you know, Brady Bunch type of deal. So, you know, she's going to definitely have to watch what kind of tenants that she gets in here. But, you know, these prices, these numbers work. Now, if you got the one bedroom, okay, and uh, I would, you know, I would probably do 650 on that, okay. Then there's also a studio apartment, which is not really big, but it's really nice, you know. It's a studio, so I mean, it's wide open, bathroom, kitchen, you know, everything, you know, pretty much wide open. Now, now with the with the studio, you know, we'll probably do like 550, okay. So, I hope you guys are adding up, adding up and putting together these numbers with me. So, now, another thing that's, that my client's going to do, you know, she wants to save some money, which I think is very smart. And live in the property. Live and manage the property yourself. You know, especially if you're a newbie. Manage the property yourself. It's an amazing idea. I've done it before. So, my recommendation is, you know, that tenant stays in, you know, hire, you know, hire maybe a maintenance person. And let them stay in the basement. You know, give them like $400 a month. You know, maybe charge them $400 a month. You know, somebody that's part-time working, but, you know, trying to make some ends meet, but, you know, a little handy, like shoveling snow, you know, doing little things like that. Peyton, I'll get them at cheap rent. Put them at 400 bucks a month. Okay. Now, uh, now, if you, I'm going to, I'm going to put you out. I'm making this fast because we got, we got two numbers we're going with now. The first number, the first number. With all these totaled in, I'm factoring in these. Now, there's two other things on the specs of this house where I want to milk this thing and get some more money out of it. And that is, one, the garage. Man, ain't no, with, you know, with a five unit, you might as well make that storage. I don't really want to even want nobody in and out of that garage. It's pretty nice, but I will probably just store it, make that storage, and rent it out. And on the low, low side, the garage, I'm going to do $100 a month. Because it's kind of off the back of the house. So probably one of the tents will probably rent it. They can split because it's two car. Let them just put some stuff in there. But I wouldn't be putting no cars in them back there. You know, people don't even use garages to put cars anymore. So rent it out. So we got another extra $100. Now, you got, you know, multiple families in this unit. They still will have to wash clothes. And... I also suggested that she get pay washers. Pay washers. The little coin slot ones. You know, you got an average, you can make up to $80 extra a month. Just on the coin washers. I mean, including yourself. You stand there, you pay to wash your clothes too. But guess what? You're going to get that little extra money back. Plus, that's going to go towards any type of repairs. It breaks down on the washer. Then you just buy a regular washer to put down there wear and tear with six, seven, eight people wearing and tearing it. Mm -mm. You're going to lose money. You're going to end up dealing with repair costs. You're going to end up replacing washers and dryers. These what type of washers and dryers, they can take that kind of wear and tear. You know what I mean? Because they used to be in a laundromat. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. 
So this number can go up too, but I'm going on a low side of 80 bucks a month. You got you got one, two, three, you got four, possibly five. You got possibly five families in one unit. So they don't have to wash some clothes. Period. You know? So try and make that money back because you gotta remember, this is an all utilities paid deal. So the tenant loving that shit. They don't give a rat's ass about the water, how much water they use it, and how much lights they use it, and how hot and how hot and how cold it is in there. So she gotta be you gotta be really careful with this all utilities paid deal. So any kind of way that you can cut some money and get some money back, this is the way to do it. So now, let's get back to the numbers. Back to the numbers, we're gonna go with now, the first, this first number I'm giving you is 3680. 3680. Okay? This 3680 has been totaled and factored with the $80 for the uh for the washers. I'm gonna put that in there. But we just mentioned the washers. But I got I got the 400, the 100, the 80, the uh the 850, 850, 750, and 650. Now I'm factoring an extra 750 because you know my client wants to possibly live here. So She's living, you know, she's gonna live for free. Plus, you know, manage the place, plus have maybe a right hand guy on downstairs and collecting some money from him. Plus, she's gonna save money on the maintenance costs. So this this is like no brainer. This was this is a good this is a good deal. You know. So that's the first number. Now, that's that's if she rented all the property, all the rooms out. I mean, all the units out and, and stay somewhere else. But in this case, she's going to play it safe and she's going to be smart. And she's going to stay here for a while. So now that number is going to be at 30, 30. 3000 $3,030 a month. That's good money. You know what I mean? Times, times, times 12 months, that's 36360 Now... Okay, damn, that's a lot of that's a lot of money, right? Yeah, kind of sort of it is. But you gotta factor in bills. You gotta factor in these bills. You got you got the utilities, you got lights and gas. Lights, gas, water. Okay, what I did in this case, I just went on the high side. You know, one tip I do suggest when you're buying a multi-unit like this, contact the light company or the gas company that that was that it was under, and find out what the what the bills are going for. Like, what were they going for in two thousand eighteen? It's like so if the property was sitting, let's say since two thousand eighteen, and go back to two thousand seventeen, the the electric company they have that information to tell you, okay, uh, lights and gas combined was nine hundred dollars a month, or it was thirteen fifty a month, and then you can find out in the water bill why. Why was the water nine thousand dollars? You know what I'm saying. You gotta find that. I also check the water bill too before you buy a property. So try and keep this going. So you got lights, gas, water. So I automatically factored on the high side seventeen hundred dollars plus taxes. So I'm adding in utilities and taxes. Gotta pay the taxes. Also, so that's going to bring my total. That's going to bring my total to thirteen thirty. Okay. Now, all right. Now we're really cooking here. Okay. So now we're at we're at thirteen. We're at thirteen thirty. Now, as I've always said. Really, you can stop right here. This is really your, this is really gonna be your positive cash flow, really. This this is this positive cash flow, really. But I've always suggested to my clients, depending on if they're doing a contract, depending on if they cashed it out, uh, create yourself a kitty. Okay. And of course, don't parlay. So, in this case, she's totally winning because, you know, she, she can't, she's cashing out the crib. She's cashing out the house, flat out. You know, she's going to cash out and she's going to put in the repairs herself, which, you know, that's going to save her a lot of money in, you know, in sweat equity, which is, again, very smart. But I suggested her to take 
just to round this number off and take out 330. Take out that 330 and put that in the kitty. And see the kitty, this is this is going to be for repairs. Put that 330 in the, in the kitty for repairs. So if anything happens, she's on deck. She got the money to fix it. In the meantime, between times, she went these out. And uh, let's see here. Where was we at? So again, this is all pop. So, so her positive cash flow after the 330 and building the kitty and paying the taxes and paying the lights and gas, she's going to be at $1,000 per month. That's sweet. She's going to be at $1,000 a month milking this thing, money in her pocket, after the bills, after the utilities, after taxes, after the repairs. $1,000 a month, that's pretty good money. And then after the repairs are done, you know, she's going to end up, you know, with the 1330 or just keep stacking it in the kitty. Let it collect the interest or something. That's, but this right here, this is going to be a positive cash flow. This is my reality of a positive cash flow. Now, this number will go up in, if and when she decides that she wants to move. So when she's ready to move and jump into another house and fix it up like that, the same way she did that one, then this number is going to change. So you just want to add another 650 to this. Shit. 16, so then, after she moves, after she gets this the way she wanted, hell, she'll be passed on that, 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 that boy for 1650 per month. It's gonna go in your is gonna go in your pocket line. So this was a good deal, in my opinion. And you know, once again, you know the, the numbers don't lie. Now you probably ask, okay, so how long is it gonna take for her to get that eighty thousand dollars back? She'll have it back in less than six years. But see, the only cool thing about it is like. It's just coming right back. It's just the money's just recycling because she owns the property free and clear. So, I mean, you got it like that? Yes, definitely try and cash out because once you cash out and you ain't paying no note, all that money is going in your pocket. All you have to do, pay taxes, pay the utilities, take care of your tenants, take care of yourself, and keep it moving. That's it. That's all. So, I hope that helped. Can't get you any better than that with those damn numbers. I told y'all I was going to murder these motherfucking numbers. And these numbers here, they don't lie. So, hope that helped. And, uh, you know, keep subscribing. Keep checking us out. You know what it do. <laughs> we told this shit 12 years, man. We never. <laughs> numbers don't lie. The investment don't lie. So, we'll keep it moving. It's Dwayne from Eleanor Distribution at Help With Your Crib, Help With A Car, JRManagementLLC.com. Give us a call at area code 937-250-9506 or 313-728-4404. You can check us out at Help With Your Crib, Help With A Car, JRManagementLLC.com. All right, I'm out, y'all. Later.